Hi, my name is Katie and today I'm going to talk to you about how to safely and easily start a fire as well as what materials you'll need to actually get your fire going. So first of all, you want to make sure before you start your fire that you have some water and that you have a shovel close by so that when it's time to put out your fire, it's super easy to do that and you can do it really safely. Then what you want to do is figure out where you're going to start your fire. So if you have a fire ring available to you or a grate, you want to use that to start your fire in. If you don't have something like that, you can find a flat piece of ground that doesn't have any overhanging trees or brush around it, and then you can create a ring of rocks to contain your fire in. Once you start your fire, you want to make sure you keep it small and manageable so it's easy to put out and you can do it safely. So once you've decided where you're going to have your fire, you want to make sure you get your fuel ready to go. You'll need three types of fuel to start your fire. First, you want to get some tinder, which is what I have right here. Then you want to make sure you get your kindling, which is this right here. And also you want to have firewood. So you want to get all three types of fuel ready to go by your side before you start your fire. First source of fuel you'll need is your tinder. I'm using this tinder quick product from Survive Outdoors Longer. So this is their waterproof tinder. It's available a lot in a lot of the Survive Outdoors Longer kits. Uh, but if you don't have something like this tinder quick, you can use things that you find outside like dry needles or bark from a tree. Dry leaves work really well. You want something that's going to ignite quickly and burn really easily. So once you have your tinder quick product, you're going to take it and you're just going to fluff it out so that you expose that um, kind of core, which is where it's really flammable. And then I'm going to use my firelight uh, sparker, which is something, again, that SOL or Survive Outdoors Longer makes. This product's great because it's super light, it's ultra light, easy to carry, and you use it to spark the tinder that I have here. So I'm going to take it and I'm just going to use it again to spark the outside of your tinder. So once that tinder's going, I'm going to set that down and you're going to grab your kindling. Kindling is also pretty easy to light, not as easy as your tinder, uh, but it's going to last a little bit longer and get burning a little bit bigger so that you can catch your firewood on fire. So when you're looking for kindling, you want to find stuff that's um, no bigger than an inch around, really dry, and again, going to light easily, but get a bit bigger than your tinder does. So once that's going and you've got your kindling burning, you're going to grab your firewood. You want to start with small pieces of firewood so that um, you can catch them on fire easier, and then you want to move on to bigger pieces of firewood. Um, and the firewood is there to really get your fire sustained and help it burn throughout the night. So you've got your fire going, you've had a great evening, and you're ready to go to bed. You want to make sure that you've never left your fire unattended, and that before you go to bed, you make sure you put it out, douse it with some water, um, and make sure it's, it's fully out before you call it a night, and then you're good to go.